Hey, this is Ben from the GitHub Accessibility team. There are a lot of accessibility features in the new code search, and I wanted to demonstrate those today. We're going to review the screen reader experience. Before we get started, I wanted to call out that this is a recent ship, and there are still a few bugs that we're ironing out. We'd love your feedback. The link to feedback will be in the video description. I'm using Windows 10, the Chrome browser, and the NVDA screen reader. My speech rate is set to slow, so that everyone can hear the screen reader announcements, I also have the speech viewer and focus highlight features turned on so it's easier for sighted users to follow along. Currently, I'm on the CPython repo and I'm at the top of the web page. From the start of the page, there are numerous ways of getting to the search button. I could arrow down repeatedly or I could press B. I'm going to keep pressing B until I hear the search label. Banner landmark open side panel button. Clickable type slash to search button. The accessible name is type slash to search. This is not the greatest label, and we're going to work on that. The way to actually activate the button is to press space key. Search code, repositories, users, issues, pull requests. Dialog, search combo box expanded has autocomplete editable repo python slash python. Let me quickly describe the sequence of elements within this complex component. There are five interactive components. The first thing is the search field itself, and this is accompanied by search suggestions. The next control is the clear search button, then search syntax tips link, and finally the give feedback link. Those are the five interactive elements that make up the search input. The search input gets interesting and useful because of excellent search suggestions. And as you're typing, those will continue to update. If you want to navigate those search suggestions, you can do that with the up and down arrow keys. As you press up and down, you get a lot of feedback on what that search suggestion is. We're trying to convey a descriptive accessible name to give you a really good idea of what will happen when you activate that suggestion. Right now, because I'm within a repository, the search field is pre-filled with the organization and repository name. In this case, the value is repo colon python slash cpython. When I interact with the search field, my cursor is at the end of the search field, and I can start my search. I know there is a Python Easter egg that talks about anti-gravity, so I'm going to search for anti-gravity. N-T-I-G-T-Y, four suggestions, four suggestions. As I search, I hear announcements which give me updates on how many suggestions are available for my search. In this case, there are four suggestions for the search anti-gravity. I'm going to hit the down arrow key and listen to the suggestions. Suggestions list, repo python slash python anti-gravity, search in this repository one of four. Org python anti-gravity, search in this organization two of four. Anti-gravity, search all of GitHub three of four. Visually, there are two groups of suggestions and we try to convey those groups to screen readers. The first group contains three suggestions. They are variants on the search that I've done. There are different scopes associated with the search. The first scope is the repo scope. I can search for anti-gravity within the repo. The second scope is the org scope, so I can search the Python org for the string anti-gravity. Finally, I could search all of GitHub for anti-gravity. The important thing is that all labels for these suggestions make it clear what search will be performed when you hit the enter key. Let's keep going through the suggestions because the announcement said there were four suggestions. The fourth suggestion is in the second group. Antigravity.py, python slash python lib slash, jump to this code 404. Okay, so in this case, a file name is announced, antigravity.py. The announcement also includes the repo that it's in and also tells me the folder that it's in. I get all of that from the accessible name. If I want to navigate to that search result, I can hit enter and that will take me to a new page. Search code repositories, users, issues, pull requests. I'm going to hit control key. The announcement I stopped is the one that I get when the page reloads. I got a lot of useful information from the page title. The page title tells me where I'm at within this repo. In this case, I'm viewing the antigravity.py file. All right, so those are just a few of the features of the new code search. I hope you like them and we look forward to your feedback. Please check out the feedback link below and let us know what you think. Thank you.